Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you Stable Diffusion 3, and we're going to use Comfy UI, and I installed Comfy UI with Pinocchio. I already did a video about Pinocchio AI, so I'll put a link to that video in the description of this video. Now, someone pointed me to Civit AI as a resource for models. But it seems that initially Civit AI wasn't really happy with the license that comes with Stable Diffusion 3. And initially it was banned on Civit AI. Now, They've had some talks with Stability AI, the company behind Stable Diffusion. And it seems that some of the concerns have been addressed and they lifted the ban. Now, one of the things that was seen as a potential danger is that Stability AI claims that derivative works based on Stable Diffusion 3 that they have all the rights over them. So it seems that after some discussion that yeah, they cleared up what they actually mean with derivative works. And well, in my own words, um, it looks like that um, yeah, you can use this for research, but as soon as you start using this for commercial purposes, yeah, things are not really that clear. But in the end, for Civit AI, it seems that as soon as you start fine tuning, LoRa's, those kind of things, that Stability AI has said that okay, we're not going to claim the rights over them. But the thing is, is that with Civit AI, you can also generate images with models. And well, that's one of the ways Civit AI wants to make some revenue. But yeah, because of this derivative works clause, they decided that you can download the model, but you can't generate images on a Civit AI website with Stable Diffusion 3. Now you can read some more about this on the website. Um, but yeah, the good thing is, is that um, now it's available. So the complete model Stable Diffusion 3 medium is 10 gigabytes. So it's a very big model, at least considering when you have only like 16 gigabytes of RAM, then it is a very big model. Now the downside is, is that they want you to sign up. And if you use Pinocchio, uh, it's not really necessary, but yeah, you can sign up on the Civit AI website and download it directly here, but you can also do it through Pinocchio AI. Now, they also have a quick start guide and yeah, they also point you to a workflow. Um, so this seems to be a bit bigger than the default workflow that you get with Comfy UI. Uh, so I haven't tested this workflow. I just use the default workflow that comes with Comfy UI. So let's go to Pinocchio with Comfy UI.
So I'm using Pinocchio 2.0.4. And as you can see, I already installed Comfy UI. And well, I think the developer behind Pinocchio that they added some models already. So for instance, now you can directly download Stable Diffusion 3 and when you download it from here i think you don't need to sign up with an account so that is one other option to download stable diffusion 3. now in my case i don't have an external gpu so i started in cpu mode and yeah it's not fast <laughs> especially not on an Intel N100. So this is the default workflow. And the checkpoint is where you can choose one of the models. I also downloaded Aura Flow. But that one is 12 gigabytes and I think that is just a little bit too big for my setup. So, but we can use Stable Diffusion 3. Now I tested with the image size 512 by 512 and yeah, I will show you in a minute, but that really seems to be the limit for this system. It's not a good idea to try to get bigger images. Well, with stable diffusion, I think it's yeah usually better just to give a hint on the style of the image that you want to generate. So a photograph uh, gives the hint that you want to have a photorealistic image. And yeah, I'll show you where the models go if you download them manually. So in my case, in the home directory, there's a Pinocchio directory. We go to API. And here you can see Comfy UI. And then we have App Models Checkpoints. So this is where the models are stored. And of course, there are things like LoRa's, um, other options, but I haven't really played around with that. And let's see, we have a directory where the output goes. Um, oh yeah, so app, output. So here you can see when I didn't give a hint the style so yeah then you can get some well let's just say interesting interpretation so this is looking more photorealistic although here this is not really photorealistic and yeah i set a photo off so after that i tried with a photograph off well i think this looks better not really photorealistic but at least better and perhaps um, 
that my system is a bit running into the limits of memory so I don't know if that has any influence on it um, or perhaps that's when you're running on a CPU and perhaps you're not um, using the same precision uh, as is perhaps available with an external GPU so but I guess that's a uh, that's a bit beyond the scope of this video but those are some things to consider now it is possible to add all kinds of other stuff um, but yeah this is the first time that I'm using Comfy UI so I didn't try to add anything else this is the default workflow so in this case a photograph of a penguin on a surfboard on a wave so after choosing the model all the rest is default so what you can do is queue the prompt and then we can view the queue now it says running zero that doesn't mean that there's nothing running zero is the ticket number so let's just say if I queue another one then usually yeah here it comes so here you see ticket number one but if I say like okay I want to have one at the front of the queue then yeah because zero is running it assigns a negative number just to make sure that it is at the front of the queue now here you can also see with the green outline where it is in the process Well, and here you can see that, yeah, I'm really pushing the limits of the system. Now default, you get 20 steps. So this step will stay active for quite some time. On my Intel N100 usually takes around 20 minutes to generate an image and the first time when it needs to load the model those kind of things yeah that adds a one or two minutes more something like that now if you want to see where it is you can go to the terminal so you can see that it has loaded the model it's busy with the first step so 20 steps so that means 5% for every step let's give it some time to see when it has finished the first step so yeah about comfy ui uh, it's uh, made with python and yeah it's really recommended to install python programs in their own virtual environment so but if you're just as lazy as i am um, yeah, the good part is, is that Comfy UI is available through Pinocchio AI and then it is really easy to install it and to run it. So here you can see that it is updated. It's gone to 5%. It has finished the first step. And it took 100 
six seconds uh, because in this case that also uh, is the time to load the model so after this uh, it should be a, a bit faster um, but not that much because the Intel N100 is not a very fast chip but it is interesting to see that even on a modest chip like the Intel N100 and in this case it does need 16 gigabytes of memory that it is possible to run Stable Diffusion 3 so yeah if you want to run with Aura Flow then it is recommended to have more than 16 gigabytes of memory so yeah perhaps in the future I will get a computer with uh, more than 16 gigabytes of memory but this is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video